everyone so today I'm going to be doing a eyeshadow palette declutter video I know I've done one recently but I need to declutter some eyeshadow palettes and I know you guys love declutter videos so I decided hey why not let's do it so if you want to see me declutter some eyeshadow palettes just keep watching I'm decluttering a few ColourPop palettes, which I know is shocking. I never declutter ColourPop palettes, but I decided it was time to declutter a few that I don't use. So first we have the Flutterby palette, which is a beautiful palette. I mean, the packaging alone is kind of why I was keeping it. But this is, it's a, it's really hard to show the actual color. It's just like a purpley taupe type of palette and honestly i'm not gonna reach for this like at all if you're wondering what i have on my bad nails i have hollow taco menchi and then um the other one i don't know the other cat one this palette is really pretty and of course, the little bit of like purpley tone to it was what I bought it for, but I know I don't need it and I know someone else will get better use out of it. Next, we have ColourPop's Bye Bye Birdie. This is a beautiful palette, but again, I have palettes with these tones in it and I honestly just don't reach for it. I also don't really use press glitters and while they are gorgeous and this is a gorgeous palette, I just know I don't need it. The packaging's cute. And the eyeshadow quality is amazing. It's just not a color story that speaks to me anymore. So, hence why I'm decluttering it. I'm decluttering the red eyeshadow palette, ColourPop Main Squeeze. This palette is beautiful, but it's just not a palette I reach for. I have red tones elsewhere that I would rather use than this palette, so I just decided to declutter it because I just really don't need it. I'm not reaching for it. I don't think I've used it once. Like, it's just, it's stunning. The quality is great. It's ColourPop, but just not for me anymore. I'm decluttering the Revolution Rainbow Palette. This is a stunning palette, and the quality is great. Um, Makeup Obsession, Revolution Beauty, etc. They are very hit or miss with the quality. Sometimes shadows are good, sometimes they're bad. This is a good palette. The shade Liberty alone is worth the price. Like, it's so good. But this is just a palette that I don't need, I don't reach for. I have all these colors elsewhere. I just don't need it. So I am forcing myself to declutter it. Even though part of me is like, yeah, no, don't do it. I'm like... I don't need this. I can do it. I have the strength, but it's really, really difficult. Like, some of these palettes I'm decluttering, I'm like, yikes, no, please, please, no, no. Because, like, I know I need to declutter because I have so many palettes. So many eyeshadow palettes. It's just really difficult for me sometimes to be like, I don't need this. Someone else will use it. I don't need this. I don't need this. But I'm doing it. This is decluttered. Officially. I'm decluttering the Spanglish palette by Almar Cosmetics. I'm just not going to reach for this palette. I already know this. It's beautiful. It does have purple tones, but it's just not a color story I need. I have these colors everywhere, and it is a beautiful palette. This shade alone, so stunning. It, like, it made me want to keep this palette, but I was like, no, you know what? I don't need this palette. I have all these colors elsewhere it's fine, you're fine, you don't need it. So that is why I'm decluttering it. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I just don't need it. I mean, I don't need any of them, but you know, this is one where I'm like, I'm okay without. I'm decluttering the Violet Voss I Do Not Care eyeshadow palette. It's just this cute little palette. I have used this. I love it. I just like, I need to declutter eyeshadows. Like, that's why I'm decluttering a lot of these. It's not because I want to. It's because I need to. Like, I need to let stuff go if I'm not going to use it. So, this is going to go. It is, like, it's stunning. I mean, that blue and that, oh, they're so stunning. Quality is great. The shimmers are great. But, I mean, like, there's three browns. I'm not going to use them, like... I don't need this palette. I'm going to just tell myself that for every palette I'm decluttering, I don't need it. 
I am officially decluttering the ABH Norvina Volume 1 palette. This palette is stunning. I love it so much, but I honestly, I think I've used it once since I bought it, which is sad. <laughs> like, I know I have so many eyeshadow palettes, and I kept buying so many, so I would use the new ones, but this is just a color story I don't need. I literally bought it just for the purples, and I have all these purples elsewhere, and honestly, I have all the other Norvina palettes, and I don't need this one along with them. This is my least favorite of them, so I'm kind of okay with decluttering this. Like, it's a stunning palette. I love the formula, but it's just not a palette that I need in my life. I Lots of the shades are similar in the other palettes, so I'm okay with decluttering this. It does, it's a little difficult, just a little bit difficult, but... I'm managing. I decided. I took the plunge and was like, no, I'm decluttering it. I can do it. So I am decluttering this palette. Finally, after having it for a while I, and not touching it, I finally decided, you know what? It's time. I decided to declutter the Jaclyn Hill Volume 2 palette. This palette just isn't for me. I never reach for it. The colors are so pretty and they're why I've kept this palette for so long, but it's just not a palette I need. The shades are beautiful though. And honestly, it's a good palette. It's just not a palette that I personally need in my collection anymore. I'm also decluttering the Morphe 39L Hit the Lights palette. It was their, like, holiday palette from last year. It's beautiful, but honestly, I just bought this palette because it was on sale and I bought it for the neon shades in the corner. If y'all saw some of my swatch video of this palette, you know how hectic it was to try to get this palette. It's stunning, but it's just not a palette that I need. I tried it, I liked it, but it's just, I couldn't get myself to keep it, if that makes sense. Like, it's so stunning, but I don't need it in my collection. I have these shades elsewhere, and as much as it hurts, I just really didn't need it. The purple shades, however, really made me second-guess myself for a while. I also am decluttering the Sand Haze because Sephora accidentally sent me this, and it's just not a palette that I will ever use in my life. Like, I... It just I just know I'm not going to use it. So that's why I'm decluttering it. It's a beautiful palette. It's just not up my alley color-wise. The shimmers are very beautiful, but it's just, you know, not for me. And these are swatches of the Purple Haze palette. Pretty, but don't need it. I'm also, sorry for the bad video, I am decluttering the Crystal Waves like Pastel Makeup Obsession palette. It's pretty, but... I don't need it in my life, don't need it in my collection. Thank you, bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this declutter video. If you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe, comment down below any videos like see me do. Go follow my Instagram, Makeup by Tasha XO, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. You too. <laughs> Being good for Simon. No, she's going to go up in the window since the heat comes out a bit. Hey! Hi! <laughs> I'm trying to do my makeup and you are just getting into everything, huh? You little brat? You cute brat? Thanks. Thank you. There's always a cat.